Hey there, cats and kittens. This week we explore a German action sci-fi film called The Challenge. Now, The Challenge is set in a dystopian future past 2045 in which Europe has gone completely chaotic and there's a great breakdown in technology. Automatic weapons, advanced weapons off the table. And we've gone back to feudal warfare. In this reality, the most important skill you can have is knowledge of the martial arts, and that's the future in which we find Jonas, who is the hero of the film and the apprentice of one of the last great martial artists. He has to recover his master's book, which contains all the secrets of the greatest martial artists, and along the way, he meets the beautiful Marie, her brother Vincent, and he has to go up against the sons of a terrible, a just really awful soldier king called Karnak. So his two children, Bosco and Cleo, they're, they're awful. They're rotten people. And they have their own little army as well. And want to use the secrets of the book to make their army invincible and eternal. Let me start by saying amazing martial arts sequences. I really, as a fan of martial arts, I could see influences of Eskrima, which is Filipino stick fighting, and Wing Chun, and Wushu, Aikido, and a lot of very dynamic and kinetic martial arts styles. With the high and the punching, and the blocking, and many, many moves, many, many moves. And this kind of hyperkinetic style is a little bit distracting, but ultimately very entertaining. How were the performances? Um, I liked all of the performances. The two main villains, Bosco and Cleo, were menacing, and Cleo in particular was very effective. Where the film falls short is that I found some scenes to kind of drag a little, but overall it was very entertaining. The other point where it falls short is I felt, and I hope this doesn't seem like a backhanded compliment, is that Jonas seemed to me had untapped pools of charisma and energy that would have made his performance much more likable as opposed to the kind of laid back and very cool stylings that kind of remind me a little bit of Steven Seagal, but it didn't quite work for him. So because of this lack of commitment to kind of maybe hyping up the acting a little bit, I'm gonna give it a B minus, but a B minus in the sense that you should rent it. It's very entertaining, it moves well, great martial arts sequences. All right guys, well, that's all for now. I hope you're having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you very soon. Please follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr at Lord Coyote 2000 Have an awesome day. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.